know, someday we'll see these trucks go by. They'll be all loaded down with GIs. I'll probably faint. Come on, move it. We got a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. Stay away. Collarbone, sir. We better take him with us. What happened? I must have fallen asleep, sir. It's my fault. I should have. Take it easy. Take it easy, soldier. Who's in charge of this convoy? Uh, Rosie, sir. I mean, Sergeant Rose. Where is he? Well, the axles all busted. Well, this pig's had it. Let's see if we can get some of this stuff into the other truck. Sergeant Rose? Oh, uh, yes, sir. We'll be rolling again as soon as I can get some help. Uh, Sergeant, how long has it been since you and your men slept? Well, we've been pretty busy, sir. How about you, Corporal? When did you sleep last? I ask you a question, soldier. Oh, uh... Well, last night, sir. Last night. How about you? Uh, yeah, about the same. Look, sir, you don't have to worry Sergeant, about it. Sergeant, how come you're riding alone? Uh, you know you're supposed to carry a second driver with you at all times. There weren't enough men to go around, and we had to get the stuff out. Now, we'll pick up other drivers when we unload the cargo. You two men are dead on your feet, aren't you? We can still drive, sir. Just a breath of fresh air, and we'll be good for another four hours. Right, Sloan? Forget it. You're relieved as of now. Sir, I gotta get my trucks through. I got hot cargo and it's gotta get to the front. You're not driving, Sergeant. Either of you. Those trucks are not moving tonight unless I can find a couple of drivers to spell you. Now, just a minute, mate. That's it, Sergeant. Oh, Sergeant. I'll see you a minute, Sergeant. I got a little problem here. Got some supplies that got to be moved out tonight, and uh, one of the drivers got busted up. Great. You'll get us a milkman and an ice cream vendor. They won't drive my trucks very long.
Combat. Starring Vic Morrow. And Rick Jason. Guest star, Claude Aiken. You'll be all right now, soldier. Okay. Take it away. Well, you have to be there tonight. Well, so we don't have to be back until 0800. You have a couple of men who can handle those trucks? Yes, sir. Those drivers need sleep bad. Hey, little John. What about it? Two of us, huh? Oh, I don't know, Kirby. Those things will be murder with a heavy load. What are you talking about? A truck's just a truck. You get in, you step down, you go. You don't want to walk all night, do you? If we don't volunteer, these guys will. Hey, Sarge. Me and the big one here, we'd like to volunteer for a little uh, truck duty. Volunteer? Are you kidding, Kirby? No, me and Lil John, we volunteer. Well, Major, you got your men. Good. I never thought I'd see Kirby volunteer for anything. Well, the men who drove the trucks this far will go with you. They're tired. They need sleep, but they could be some help. Yes, sir. Major, there's a call for you. All right. All right. You two report to Sergeant Rose. He's over by the trucks. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Hey, so long, you guys. Have a nice walk for yourselves, huh? Ah, there it could be. Now I want you to watch for road mines. The crops are very busy up ahead. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll save a few for you guys to stumble over. Ha! Let's go. Uh, little John, this is gonna be a snap. While those guys are plowing up mud, they're gonna be riding along nice and easy. Hey, what's it? Thanks, Major. Good luck. Sure is big. Yeah. What are you doing up for? I don't know. I always do. Huh. Hey, I wonder if I can remember the gears. Take that for me, will you? in there. Look. No. I ought to have my head examined listening to you. You're the replacements, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, Sarge. This here's Little John, and I'm Kirby. You know what these things are? Yeah. It's a two-and-a-half-ton bomb. You don't sound very happy about it. I'm not. Ice cream vendors. What? Never mind. Sloan, you take, uh, what? Little John. Well, if Little John can drive, let him handle it. If not, as soon as we're out of the area, slide him over and take it yourself. Okay, sir. I'll take the squirrel here. You can drive. Okay. Show me. Well, what's he mad about? I don't know, but I get a feeling we're going to find out. Squirrel.
Kirby, Sergeant. William G. Kirby. Sergeant? Mm, no. Sloan, was this his first accident? Oh, come on, little John. Do me a favor. Let me sleep. Anyway, he didn't have the accident. Rosie drives, you can close your eyes. You two are close friends, huh? With Rosie? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Watch out for that oil slick. This load's got to get through it. It'll never make it with you driving. Now move over, beer driver. Sergeant, I, I to... said get out. Now move. Okay. Right. What's going on? Ah, he's off his rocker, that's all. I ought to bust you one for that. Yeah. Come on, let's roll. Wait a minute, Sergeant. The Major said that we Don't tell me what the Major said. I can drive better in my sleep than he can. Yeah, but the... But nothing. Now, this is my convoy, and it's my worry. You get back to your truck. All right, come on. That's enough from me. in the truck. We'll get it. Sarge! Get away from the truck! What do you think he's doing? Defend his cargo, I guess. Well, one hit in the right place and goodbye, Rosie. Sarge! All you're doing is drawing fire. Come on, we'll cover you. Come on! 
I can make out at least two crowds up there. Yeah, it looks like it. We gotta get my trucks out of here. We'll get them out. What if we circle around that low spot and get behind him? Yeah. You guys give us some cover. We should go up there and see. No, we ain't leaving these trucks. You're driving trucks, but you sure can handle yourself in the field. How about that, Rosie? Yeah. All right, let's move. We wasted enough time. What do you think about that? Well, come off it, Kirby. You don't mean to be ungrateful. It's just he's had trouble. Yeah, I know all about him. Come on, we better hurry up. That's all we've been doing. Doesn't he ever slow up? Well, come on, I'll drive for a while. are you? I don't get lost. That road back there. What, you ever been on it before? Hey, it'll save us a few miles. 
Sure, what if it's not cleared yet? What do you want from me? A guarantee those snipers weren't supposed to be on that road either. What's he doing? Looks like he's gonna turn to the right. That's nothing but a country road. Man, I dread it worse. With this cargo? Army 
safe a bit to walk across. Oh, why don't we just double back? We're not doubling back. The trucks can make it. Are you kidding? Hey, Sarge, there's some loose timbers down here. We can shore up the bridge. We haven't got time. Well, it'll only take us a half hour. Forget it, Sloan. Now stay on this side. I'll bring the trucks across. Sarge, why take a chance on losing the truck? We can't shore it up. What's a half hour? That's exactly 30 minutes too long. Now step back and keep out of my way. See my signal?
made it. Yeah, but it sure cost us. Yeah, it was it wasn't his fault. If we'd short up that bridge, you wouldn't be lying here right now. How you feeling, kid? I'm okay. Yeah, you're just fine. Help me get him in the truck. You check the cable on that winch. Make sure it's fast. Easy. Take it easy, Woody. That's rude. You take Sloan's wheel. You don't even care, do you? You almost got a guy killed last night, and now this. Which one of us is going to be next, anyway? When you get back, you can file a report. In the meantime, you just do what you're told. Now get in that cab and drive. You'll take it easy on the bumps. Smooth as silk. Okay, Ross. He's crazy. I don't know. I mean, you don't know. You saw him, didn't you? All right, let's go. What are you waiting for? An invitation? Ah. You know, Sloan told me something happened to Rosie about a month ago. On one of their runs. Crazy again, I'll get somebody killed. Versucht sie. Karl, seh nach den Verwundeten. 
ihr beiden, passt auf. Chance. Well, come on, let's get out of here. Well, wait a minute. We can't go no place with that heavy machine gun covering the road here. So what do we do? Wait till they get that thing rolling towards us? Why don't we turn around and head back? No, it's too far. Sloan needs help. Besides, the outfit that needs that ammo is only about a mile up the road. You got any grenades on the back of that truck? Yeah, crates of them. Have you ever fought a half-track? No. No, this will be the first time. And you said you thought he was crazy. Yeah, he is. Oh, boy, this is the last time I'll ever hitch a ride in the Army. Come on. Get the road clear, I'll get you to the dock. Let's go. Circle around, make it to that ditch. We can get close enough to use these things. There's not much cover between those trees and that ditch. That's the chance we gotta take. You got a better idea? Okay, we'll do it your way. But listen, we get in any trouble, it's every man for himself. What's that supposed to mean? That means I'm gonna get my trucks through with or without you guys. That's what I like about you, Rosie. You never change. you think we could take a half track? Yeah, it didn't look so big from over there. All we have to do is turn the machine gun around. Okay, now what? We gotta get closer. Little John, let's get in the ditch and work on down. Try to get a couple of grenades in that turret. Sarge, you cover us from here. Don't open up, though, unless they spot us. You ready? Yeah.
What's the matter what he said? Every man for himself. <laughs> You guys fight the war. stuff at the front. You gentlemen don't mind getting it there, do you? We got a wounded man here, Sarge. All right, get him over there. I'll roll it from here. There's another man in the trunk. Oh. All right, you two, get him out of there and put him with the others. On the double. It's a good thing you guys got here when you did. In another hour, we'd have been throwing rocks at the crowds. But Rosie would have been glad to hear that. Are you clear? Yes, Sarge. All clear. Good. 